So here we are going to solve these two super long equations, but in fact they are not so bad because they are actually just infinite geometry series. For the first one, you see that when we go from 1 to sin x, we just have to multiply by sin x. And then likewise, to go from here to here, we multiply by sin x. Therefore, you see that sin x is actually just a common ratio. And suppose this infinite geometry series does converge. We know that it will converge to the first term, which is 1, over 1 minus the common ratio, which is just sin x. And you see that we just have to make this equal to 2. But we have to be really careful because in order for this step to be true, we have to make sure that whatever the value that we get for sin x, it has to be strictly less than 1. And we know the absolute value of sin x is less than or equal to 1 for any x. So most likely we can solve for the answer right here. But anyway, let's just go ahead and do it. Of course, you can do whichever way that you want. Maybe you can just take the reciprocal on both sides, so you can just get 1 minus sin x being equal to 1 over 2. And then you can put this to the other side, and then minus 1 minus 1 half has to be 1 half, right? So we know that sin x has to be equal to 1 half. And now, do we remember how to solve this kind of equations? Well, let's use the reference triangle method. First off, sin x. I know, don't let this x bother you, but like, for this right here, look at this as y over r. And the first picture that we can have is this. We can have y being equal to 1 and r being equal to 2. So you see that we have a reference triangle there. And this is a special right triangle, 30, 60, 90. And this right here is the 30 degrees, which is pi over 6. So as you can see, this angle, right, technically is the x right here, is pi over 6. But of course, we are not done yet because we can keep rotating whichever way that we want, 2 pi times x, whichever many times you want. And you can just go ahead and just add 2 and pi, and then you are done for that. And of course, you can also use like 2k pi or whatever, it doesn't really matter that much. Secondly though, remember, we could also draw the picture this way y is positive 1, we could have put it down right here, and then r is 2. So you see, we have 1 and also 2 right here. With that said, this time, this angle here is pi over 6. However, when we want to measure angle, that's not how we do it. We have to go from the positive x-axis to here. Well, the whole thing is pi, we will have the pi over 6 right here, so this is just going to be pi minus pi over 6. This is 6 over 6 minus 1 over 6, which is just going to be 5 over 6. And of course, we have the pi. So for the second one, we start at 5 pi over 6. So let me just put out that x is equal to 5 pi over 6, and then we just need to add the 2 and pi after that. And let me tell you, you see, this right here works because we just need sin x to be one half and it does work. It does work out very nicely, all right? Yeah, this right here does, does work, so that's it. Okay, now, for the second one, similar style, but this time the common ratio is negative ln x. Right, from here to here, we multiply by negative ln x, and then we do it again. So negative ln x times negative ln x, we get the positive ln x squared. So this time, this is our common ratio. And you see that next term is negative, so that's correct. Same thing, assuming that this right here does converge, it will be 1 over 1 minus the common ratio, which is negative ln x, like this. And again, make this equal to 2. But again, we just have to make sure that can we actually solve absolute value of negative ln x. We need this to be less than 1. Right? Earlier, this was less than 1, right? because this is 1 half, so this works. It, it's going to work again. You see, this is 1 over 1 plus ln x, that's equal to 2. Do the reciprocal on both sides. 1 plus ln x is equal to 1 half. This time, ln x has to be equal to negative 1 half. Yep. And then, to solve for this equation, you do e to the power, e to the power, because ln is the same as log base e, and they cancel. So ladies and gentlemen, x is just equal to one answer here. 
e to the negative one half power. And if you would like, you can write this down as one over e to the positive one half power here. Or if you would like, you can write this as one over this right here. It's the same as square root of e. And I will leave the answer like this. All right. So hopefully this right here helps. That's it.